So, what is soft washing? That's the question, right? What is soft washing? What is soft washing? So, Jason Guyman here with PressureWashHelp.com to help you grow your business and for you to be successful. And today, I had a question come in, and the question is, what is soft washing? So, there is lots of definitions of soft washing out there. Some people think soft washing is that we nuke everything. And we, and is that a form of soft washing? Absolutely. Soft washing, you know, is my definition of soft washing is cleaning with the correct amount of chemical to clean the house with low pressure. So there's several different ways we can soft wash. One way we can soft wash is either through a dedicated pump, whether that's a 12 volt pump, a, a booster pump, an air pump, a, um, that type of pump. And what that does is basically, my definition of soft washing is washing a house on, with, under, with less than 100 PSI. If I can clean a house with less than 100 PSI at my gun, which that means by the time it hits the house, it's gonna be rain, basically. I'm not pressure, you know, high pressure is, you know, we're blasting the crap out of everything. That's not soft washing. So there's a couple different ways you can soft wash. Like I said, the first way is we can do it with a dedicated pump. We can, with that, we can do like a mixing valve. Some of these, or some other valves that are out there that we can turn the soap and water so we can put um, our, our, um, our SH, our, um, our house wash mix or whatever, and we can keep it straight and we can mix it with these valves. Or maybe the way we do soft wash it through a 12 volt is just because um, our soft wash is our, our house wash and our roof mix is the same. It goes into the same and we're pulling out of the same tank, which is 50, 50. If you want to check out the video about that, check out my video up here and I go over what it is. So what we use is called a downstream injector and it's right here. It looks like this thing. And what this does, it goes, we put this at our truck and it comes out of our hose reel and it goes in in our hose and it goes all the way down our hose and it, this stays on our truck. And what it does is there's a little line here goes into our tank. And when that line goes in the tank, we have a valve on here that we can turn on and off. And that's how we turn our soap on and off. This is a form of soft washing. Um, when it leaves the gun, we use these, this thing here called a J rod. And we have four different nozzles. Three of them are, have a really large hole in an opening in them. The fourth one does not. It's actually a little bit higher pressure. It's about 12 to 1600 PSI. Where these here are about 80 PSI coming out of the nozzle. So with 80, 80 PSI coming out of the nozzle, that's my definition of soft washing. This here is called downstreaming. Um, we got another set that's called this here goes on our gun. We'll, we'll clip this into our gun. And this here is called an X-Jet. And we can, it's got a thing here. We can change it so we can reach high and we can fan it and it fans the thing down. And it also will have a valve on here. This thing here, we'll put a hose down in a bucket and we'll have, we'll carry the bucket everywhere we go. Or we'll have about 50 feet, 30 to 50 feet of hose into this bucket so we can do one whole house side without moving our bucket. Um, this here is another form of soft washing. Um, there's two different group, pe groups of people. There's people that love X-jetting. There's people that love downstreaming. Um, I'm in the downstreaming fan. Um, this thing downstreamer here is $15. That's one reason why I'm in the downstreaming fan. The other reason why I'm in the downstreaming fan is, is I have employees and I really don't trust them carrying bleach or soap all the way around the house. If they spill it, they kill the stuff. Not to say there's people that do this with employees. It can be done. Um, so these are two forms of soft washing right here. Um, and like I say, both of them work really well. This one here, the, 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 the cons of this one is it can, these go bad. They only, if you got employees, they'll last about six to eight weeks because they don't clean them out. Um, if you clean them out, you can get a little longer than that. This thing here will last for, this here will last about a year or two, $15. This one here is $180. So that is the difference between $180 
versus fifteen dollars. Um, even with the 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 J rod is about fifty forty fifty bucks with the tips in that. So that is soft washing. The other way is with a twelve volt pump or an air pump or a um, a um, a proportioner, whatever you decide to go with. All those are types of pumps that you can go with. Um, that they do soft washing. Those you're going to pull out of the tank and do it. A lot of times you can turn the soap off and then you can rinse even with them. You know, very um, rarely. So one thing I was going to tell you is, is when we downstream, this can downstream 10 to 1. Um, our downstreamers can get it about 10 to 1. These here can get about 5 to 1. It may be a little bit stronger than that, but I know you can get 5 to 1. I used to think you can get 3, but I don't, I don't think that's true. I think they're 5 to 1. Um, I may need to look that up, but um, these are 5 to 1. And if you would like any of these parts, all they're down in my description down there. If you go down in my description, there, every part's down in there. Um, but with down soft washing is basically cleaning with the soap. We're cleaning the house with the soap. You know, most stuff grows on these houses are dirt, mold, and algae. And a lot of this stuff, if we put us, you know, when we're washing our hands, we use soap. We use warm water and soap. Why do we use warm water and soap? Because that's what gets the dirt off. If we don't get the dirt off, it does us no good. So with us using warm water and soap, that allows us to get the dirt off of the house. And that is very important that we get the dirt off the house. That's why they called us there. Can we get it off with high pressure? You're not going to get it very clean because if we don't kill the dirt mold, if we don't kill the mold and algae, it's going to come back within six to eight weeks. About three to four months, it'll come back. When we soft wash, it usually takes about um, about two years around here before it really starts coming back. Um, unless you're in like a really tree area or you're in a real wet area that is going to cause it to grow even faster than that. So those are some reasons or those are some things that we do to soft wash. When we soft wash, it gets it cleaner. It kills it. It does it. It you know when we're using um, SH, it will it will remove the dirt in that crap. If you'd like to learn how to quote pressure washing jobs, check out my video up here. This playlist I have a couple great videos up there. And if you would like to learn how to get leads and how to get jobs, check out my Google Ads. This is how we grew our business to a million dollars is through Google Ads. Check out that web. Check out this playlist. It goes through how to do everything, for from getting job, how to set it up, how to put negative keywords, how to put positive keywords, and why we want it. Um, and if you need help, just send me out, and I can actually help you set it up for you.